Constellation Energy is continuing to make strides towards reopening part of the Three Mile Island power plant, the site of the worst nuclear accident in U.S. history. Fox 43's Alyssa Kratz got an inside look in Dauphin County. Constellation Energy is gearing up to restart Three Mile Island Unit 1 with plans to rename it to the Crane Clean Energy Center. We're taking this very seriously. There's $1.6 billion of private investment that we're putting out there. This is not on the backs of state ratepayers. It's a move some see as controversial following what was the worst nuclear accident in U.S. history at TMI's Unit 2. That reactor is in the process of being decommissioned by its owner, Energy Solutions. And those folks that were here uh, in 79, well, I, I get it. You know, it was, it was a tough time for those folks in the area. What I can say here unequivocally is that Unit 1 has had 45 years of safety and performance. Unit 1 was shut down by Constellation due to economic reasons in 2019. The company now giving Fox 43 an inside look at the reactor. Behind me here, this is the plant's original generator from when it opened. Constellation says that it has cleaned and inspected it, and it is still in good enough condition to support the restart. We did a lot of pre-work before announcement to make sure that the components inside the plant are good to run and can do so safely. We also stepped inside the plant's main operations center. The analog design will continue to be used through the restart, but there's still a lot more work to be done. We need to put oil in the in the motors. We got to re-energize the plant, get the water back in there, and also, you know, put the reactor back together. So all those sorts of things have been laid out uh, with full oversight by the DOE and the NRC. Constellation has inked a 20-year deal with Microsoft to power its data centers, but the company says that will not be the exclusive use of the plan. This is not a behind-the-meter deal. All the 835 megawatts here generated at Crane Clean Energy Center will go to the grid, and essentially Microsoft is just supporting that those dollars uh, to buy that electricity. Constellation expects to receive approval from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission in the next couple of years and reopen Unit 1 in 2028. Alyssa Kratz, Fox 43 News.